Hi there, Year Six, and welcome to Wednesday, the 3rd of March, our writing lesson for today. And as I said yesterday, I'm really excited to share this with you because uh, we're going to be focusing on some creative writing challenges and opportunities for today and tomorrow, inspired by some of our favourite authors, because tomorrow is World Book Day. So to celebrate that, I'm wearing my book t-shirt my book top which <laughs> was a coincidence actually I didn't realize that when I put it on and I thought um it's one of my favorites and I actually it's perfect to celebrate World Book Day this week so let's have a little look at what we're going to be doing today and tomorrow okay so as I said Thursday the 4th of March is World Book Day so for the rest of this week, we're going to be focusing on celebrating some of our favourite year six authors and giving you the chance to do some creative writing. Which I know lots of you really enjoy and sometimes we have to do we do lots of writing for different purposes, but sometimes it's really nice to just have an opportunity to express yourself to write freely and um, let your imagination run wild. So on Wednesday or today, <laughs> we are going to let you select one of three different writing challenges that we've chosen that are set by three different authors. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a minute. Then on then tomorrow on Thursday, we're going to be looking at Catherine Rundell, who I know lots of you are fans of. Rooftoppers is her perhaps her most celebrated book, but she's also written um, The Explorer, which I know lots of you have read, and um, Good Feeds, which has come out, I think, last year, which again, a few of you, I think, have read too. So she's got a new book out specifically for World Book Day called Sky Steppers. Mm. And we're going to be looking at some ways that you can use this and Kath that Catherine Rundell uses different ways to find inspiration for her stories. So let's have a little look at what we're going to do today. OK, so today we want you to select one of the 10 minute writing challenges. Now, these are probably going to take us a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but they are called the 10 minute writing challenges, which are on a fantastic website called Authorfy. Now, Authorfy has loads and loads of different authors on there who set challenges, talked about their books. We've got the author of Letters from the Lighthouse, which I know lots of you enjoyed, Our Castle by the Sea as well, which is another book lots of you have been reading recently, another World War II book. And also lots of authors that I know you will love, either authors that you read when you were younger but or authors that you're reading at the moment. So a fantastic resource to have a look at. And lots of these authors have also set some challenges. But we've selected three authors that we love and we know that you love as well in year six. So these authors are Thomas Taylor, who was the author of Malamanda. And also, interestingly, he did the cover art or he was the artist who illustrated the front cover of the first Harry Potter book. Piers Tordy, who wrote Last Wild and Anna James, who, who wrote Pages and Co series, which I know lots of you have really been enjoying reading in school and was a, one of our book club books from last year, as was Malamanda actually. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time looking at the different challenges these authors have set. So I will read them through with you and then you can go back and have another read to select which challenge you think you'd like to have a go at, which writing challenge. Once you've selected that, you can then have a look at the website, authorfy.com, we've got the link here, to watch the author's video. So the author talks a little bit about how they get inspired and how they are inspired to write their books, and then sets you the challenge that they have for your writing for today. So the first challenge we have is to find a lost object and return it to its rightful owner. And that's Thomas Taylor's challenge, so the author of Malamanda. So perhaps you're thinking back to some of you worked in year five looking at the um, lost thing. So these lost objects, something that's been lost and you need to return. So Thomas Taylor actually encourages you to have a look around the house, something really ordinary or a lost object that you might need to think about that you may need to return. So it might not be very special. It could be incredibly ordinary, but you need to use your imagination to think of what this object could be. For example, it could be an old tennis ball that could in fact be a magical wizard's orb that's been lost by this powerful wizard. Or perhaps a vital part of an international space station. Have you ever found something, an object around the house that you thought, where does this come from? What is this from? 
Imagine it could be a vital part of an international space station. Or is it Andy Murray's favourite championship ball that, ball that perhaps your dog has picked up in the garden and brought into the house, dropped behind the sofa and Andy Murray's been looking for it? So they're just a few ideas. But your challenge is now to think of that object and return it to its rightful owner and become the hero of your story. So that's challenge number one, if you want to accept that challenge. Challenge two, let's have a little look. So remember, you're going to choose one of these three challenges. So challenge two comes from Piers Tordy, who challenges you to create a secret weapon from an ordinary object. He actually challenges you to create secret weapons from perhaps one of the most ordinary objects around the house and give that object a power it doesn't currently have. Um, and an example of how you could use this object for good. So this weapon, this object needs to be used for good. So he encourages you've got to make sure you describe the object as it currently is and then this new power that it holds as well. How could it protect somebody? How could it save somebody? How are you going to use it for good? Again, you need to use your imagination. Find that object. Think about the object you might use. The more ordinary, the better, Piers Dordi um, explains. And finally, the third challenge, go book wandering with Anna James. Now, for those of you who have read Pages and Co, you'll know that in this story, it's about a little girl who goes book wandering. She's a book wanderer and wanders into some of the most famous stories that we have. So imagine what it would be like if you book wandered into your favorite story. Think of a book you love or a character from a story you would like to meet. So it doesn't have to be a book you've read recently. It could be any book. It could be a book you loved when you were, when you were younger. Think about a setting and where you could read yourself into your book. So that means think about where you're going to sort of almost leap into that page, into that part of the story because you're not going to become a character throughout the whole book. It's just one tiny setting, one tiny event that you're going to jump onto that page of. And then describes what happens when you book wander inside that book. What characters do you meet? Do you look like the other characters in the book? Or perhaps are you still dressed in your normal clothes or everyday clothes? Um, what happens? And what happens when you meet these characters? What do you talk about? So again, a fantastic challenge. So now you've had a look at each of those challenges and I suggest after the video you go back and have another little look and read through again and make a good decision about which one you want to do. So you're going to select one of those three challenges and you're going to watch the video of the author explaining and describing the challenge again. And then in the video it actually gives you a timer. You could pause this and carry on writing if you wanted to because it has a bit of music. So some of you might like the music, some of you might not. But basically, we want you to use those 10 minutes, which is this 10 minute challenge, 10 minutes writing time to create a junk write. So that means your first draft zero where you just write. You don't have to plan. You don't have to think about um, necessarily your uh, full stops, capital letters, although I think that would be really important just to be keeping in that habit of making sure you're including those things. And then we want you to read it through to yourself because what you need to do is to think about how you're going to develop and improve this narrative. So read it through to yourself and then read it through to somebody else. And then have a bit of a discussion if you can, or think about how you're going to improve it. And then have another go. So I'd spend another 10 minutes editing and improving and extending and developing your initial ideas. Also, I perhaps in that time might think, oh, actually, have I, have I, you know, should this be a capital letter or is this a proper noun? Do I need to have a capital letter for that name? A full stop? Oh, actually, I can't see that word very well. It's not very clear. I need to correct that. I need to make those edits so that you can also share that with other people. Because whilst it's wonderful to write for ourselves, it's also equally as wonderful to be able to share that with somebody else. So we want you to really enjoy the freedom of writing from your imagination today as you never know where it will take you. And we are so excited and don't forget to share these with us to see all of the different um, objects you choose to uh, create into weapons for good, or um, that somebody's lost and actually is an incredibly important object that you've found and returned, or also which books you choose and which characters you meet in these books when you choose to wander into them.
So please share these with us. It would be lovely to see. And um, a little top tip before you do start your second draft, um, think about how you're going to develop that. Keep reading back, keep reading through, editing as you go, because we know it's so much easier to go back and edit when you're working on a paragraph rather than writing at the end and then going back through. So we're we'll really excited to see how you get on and we hope you enjoy doing these challenges today. And I will see you tomorrow when we'll be looking at um, what we're going to be doing on World Book Day. All right then, speak to, uh, speak to you tomorrow. Bye.